We're here in uh, Southern Sudan on the just off the road between Juba and uh, Tarakeka. Guinea worm disease is a, um, a parasite that people get by drinking contaminated water from open stagnant sources such as ponds or depressions uh, dug in the earth for any purpose. When uh, people drink contaminated water like that, the immature worms get in their body, they uh, come out inside the stomach, burrow through the stomach, mature in the uh, inside of the, the abdomen of the body. And a year after people has, have drunk such contaminated water, the mature female worms that are by now two to three feet long, about one meter long, begin emerging directly through the skin, usually on the lower leg, but sometimes on any part of the body. And at that time, uh, the worm is a gigantic uterus that's packed with hundreds of thousands of immature worms. And she is trying to put those immature worms back in the drinking water source. And so when such a person goes into the water, the worms are ejected back into the water. There they're eaten by tiny water fleas, and that way the cycle continues. We help people to understand two things, basically. When they have guinea worms coming out of their bodies, they should not go into a, a source of stagnant water like this that people are using to drink, because that will allow the worm to contaminate the water. They should not allow their children to go into uh, sources, any neighbors to go into sources, because if, if a water source like this becomes contaminated, it's contaminated for everybody. The second intervention is to teach people when they have to drink water like this, to at least always filter it through a finely woven cloth that won't filter out the viruses and bacteria, but it will filter out the water fleas that contain the guinea worm larvae. We uh, provide the cloth filters. Uh, we provide the uh, bait that's uh, donated as well. We work very closely, of course, with the government's concern and the ministries of health. Through all those means, the Carter Center has helped be the uh, leading advocate, the leading proponent, the leading provider of technical assistance and funding from many donors for the Guinea Worm Eradication uh, Program. It's important for uh, the rest of the world to understand that this is an important problem, but it's one that we know how to prevent completely. Indeed, we know how to eradicate it, and we are very much on the verge of eradicating it now. And when that's done, we will help make areas like this more productive. It will leave a cadre of health workers that have had the very positive experience of planning, implementing, and concluding a uh, successful intervention like this. That will give them uh, experience and confidence to go on and combat other diseases as well.